Aiden makes a huge mistake? All right, guys, we got to talk about popular streamer Aiden Ross because Aiden Ross is in a little bit of trouble right now. And that trouble stems from a man who recently went viral named Lieutenant Dan. Now, for those who don't know who Lieutenant Dan is, basically, he is a homeless guy okay. who owns a boat who went viral for basically saying he is refusing to evacuate the town of uh, Tampa, Florida uh, in anticipation of Hurricane Milton. So I will say this, like a lot of stuff that's going on right now with the hurricane is like a lot of people aren't leaving Florida. They're not evacuating. They're staying there. And I think Aiden Ross tried to do the right thing. Someone's boat got destroyed and he was like, hey, let me let me help them like build you a new boat. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to pay for the boat and everything. So some people are like, yo, you're not doing the same thing. You should make him evacuate and all that. But that's not his choice. You see what I'm saying? But we're going to keep going on why people are hating on Aiden Ross. Uh, as you, most of you guys know, Hurricane Milton, it already happened. It did a lot of damage. It wasn't as bad as previously reported, which is a good thing. I'm happy to hear that. But it still was bad, and a lot of the uh, certain local municipalities in that area were told to evacuate. Uh, Lieutenant Dan did not. He went viral for it because people just couldn't believe that this guy not only was refusing to evacuate, but he thought that the smartest thing he could do was stay in his boat uh, to shield himself from the hurricane, which not the best idea. But anyway, mm. so this guy goes viral. Yes, he did survive. Uh, nothing happened to him. He completely survived the hurricane. And because of the newfound fame that he got from going viral, he ended up getting on a stream with Aiden Ross. During okay. the stream with Aiden Ross, Aiden Ross basically offered the guy $100,000 or $100,000 bow, whatever it is. And he also offered him a kick deal, basically saying, hey, we'll get you a deal with kick. You can start streaming. You can make some money because this guy is legit famous now. Like people go on YouTube and TikTok to check for this man as well as Twitter. Like, So this is kind of like, I'm not going to say it's kind of like a trend. So like what happens is like hot to a trend, like the hot to a girl. She was a trend. She took advantage, right? And now she has a podcast and all that. But with this guy, I don't feel like he's going to go anywhere. Maybe he does. Um, I feel like he's just going to be a trend for a little bit. He survived the hurricane. He made a dumb decision for staying there, right? Um, but at the same time, right, is like what people are checking on him. Like he's homeless. You see what I'm saying? They feel bad for him. And they're like, oh, my gosh, right? But it's going to last like, what, a couple weeks? You see what I'm saying? And then. People are not going to check in anymore. So it's just it's just like short fame. And people need to realize if you want long fame, you have to grind your way up, right? You need to build your audience slowly so that when you have that big audience, you're able to capitalize on it. This guy does have an audience right now, but can he capitalize on it? And I, and I do not think so. I think he's not going to do that. He's legit famous. It's almost like the Hawk Tua thing. Like the girl who went famous, who got famous for saying the whole Hawk Tua, whatever. It's it's the same thing. This guy is is going completely viral for something stupid. Just to Bro, that's kind of crazy that we hit we're on the same wavelength. This is insane. To be honest. For for deciding to stay on his boat um in the middle of a massive hurricane. Anyway, here's some of the video uh of what Aiden Ross said to the guy when he got him on a stream. Here we go. Um, we, uh, we were able to come up. I, I'm going to be able to pay for a boat for you. We're going to get you a nice boat, um, in the range of 50 to a hundred thousand dollars. Um, and we're going to get you a full-time kick deal, which is a live streaming deal where you can stream your entire voyages and all your adventures. Um, and you could be, have a passive income come in. Um, and you're going to be, uh, yeah, you're going to have a kick deal, man, a live streaming deal. So you could live stream and connect with, uh, fans all over the world and they could really see your adventure, man. Wow. wow. <clears throat> I um thank you. It's gonna be insane. Let's go. I I mean that for him, but I don't know what else to say other than thank you. Um and bless you all. Um Okay, so obviously, I mean the guy was so shocked at what he had just been told, he didn't even know how to react, which I could completely understand. You he seems actually pretty genuine, but at the same time, I haven't met him in real life. Um, I need to meet him to see if he's really a genuine guy. Um, I do agree with Echoes that he is very surprised that Aiden Ross is giving him all this stuff. But at the same time, um, to he probably doesn't know what internet fame feels like. He doesn't know 
all these things that can come, like all the opportunities that can come to internet fame, maybe. Maybe he does, but at the same time, bro, like Aiden Ross is hey, people talk a lot of crap about Aiden Ross, but I think actually he's a good guy, in my opinion. I don't know. Put in the comment section if you guys disagree. You go from being homeless for literally the last decade to your entire life changing because you decided that you didn't want to evacuate in the middle of a hurricane. Like that's pretty much what happened to this guy. However, things took a turn when the internet did what the internet does. Mm. They researched and dug into this man's past and they discovered some very interesting things about Lieutenant Dan's past, which by the way, um, Lieutenant Dan is not his real name. His real, his okay. name is not Dan and he's not a Lieutenant. I'm not sure why people call him that. I'm not sure where that came from, but he did make that very clear in the stream that uh, he never served in the military and his name is not Dan. His name is actually Joe. And so with Joe here, who was called Lieutenant Dan, uh, the internet did what they do. They looked up this guy's past and it actually turned out that Lieutenant Dan spent six months behind bars for allegedly punching a police officer. And Lieutenant Dan was also arrested in 2023 over allegations that he tried to set a woman on fire with gasoline. And it's also being reported that right now, Lieutenant Dan uh, has an October 2024 20, court date uh, in a dispute over whether that sailboat is even legally his. So, Okay, this is what I'm going to say, right? If the sailboat was destroyed in the wreckage, you see what I'm saying? He's going to get a, no, a new boat. But this man tried to set a person on fire? What? Okay, and then, okay, this is the, this is the other thing that I have to say is, bro, he punched the officer in the face. Okay, maybe the officer did something to provoke him, but why is he charged with all these things? Doesn't mean that, that he deserves the boat, even if the boat is not his, the one that he's on right now? I don't know. You see what I'm saying? Does he deserve all this internet fame? We have no idea. Is he getting charged something that he can go to jail? Probably not. But he might get his boat taken away. But he got his internet fame. He's going to get his new boat. So who who cares? But at the same time, when people try to dig into other people, right, they want to make sure that this person actually deserves it. Because how the internet works is if you have a lot of fame on you, they're going to literally dig into your past. They're going to find out who you are. They're going to find out all the bad things that you've done, all the good things that you've done. But they usually the bad things come to light. How social media works now is they like putting the bad things. One. Jack Doherty almost got, got in a car crash. That's a bad thing. You see what I'm saying? What did happen? He went viral. You see what I'm saying? Negative, so negative press, right? Negative things create positive things for people. You see what I'm saying? When people do bad things, sometimes they get famous off of it. Sometimes they get more viral and they get more money. But the thing is people want to realize is if they don't want this person to get famous, they don't want this person to gain fame, then don't watch their videos. You see what I'm saying? But that's just my opinion. So definitely an interesting uh, criminal history with this guy. And because of that criminal history uh, that got uncovered, this actually led to people basically saying that Aiden Ross is no longer going to give him the kick deal. Aiden Ross is no longer going to give him the hundred K mm. and there's a lot of backlash and people are mad at Aiden Ross and they're like, you better not give this guy anything. He's a terrible person, his criminal history, blah, blah, blah. And so what happened was uh, a female TikToker caught up with Lieutenant Dan to break the news to him that Aiden Ross is no longer uh, giving him the 100 K or the kick deal, which by the way, that's not even true. Aiden and Ross never actually said that. That's okay. just a rumor that started on Twitter that people. So why are people? Okay, so this is the thing. Why are people trying to create fake news? And I understand that it's normal on the internet, but why are they trying to go up to this person, tell him that he's not getting his kick deal, tell him that he's not getting his stuff? Being this troll in real life, I understand if you're doing it online. Okay, buddy, do what you got to do. But if you go up to someone, you find where they live, and you try to troll them, like nah, bro, that's not cool. That should not be allowed, in my opinion. I feel like that is a terrible thing to do. You should not do that. Let the man be. If he gets his nice things, don't try to like lie to him. Don't try to get him upset. Like You don't know the man. You see what I'm saying? One, he could be dangerous. Or two, you see what I'm saying? Like You're being a troll. You're being a terrible person and a liar. So I just don't like that people are running with but anyway uh, a girl uh, a female tiktoker went to lieutenant dan and broke this news to them and here's how that went here's the video 
feel about Aiden Ross telling you, you he not getting you a boat no more? He came to me. I never went to him. He offered it to me. I never asked for it. So then he turned around and he started singing about my history. Well, you should have did that before you made the offer. You know, if you're worried about your image and who you have working for you, you should have done your due diligence and looked me up before you made me an offer of $100,000 sign-on bonus and $50,000 a month with a $100,000 boat. And I'm going to let you go because I don't care about that. But I'm going to tell you he this. He took the I'm money gonna... away too? Huh? He took the hundred k. I'm... took, as far as I know, everything. Oh, wow. You know, and that's the thing. I mean, I didn't ask you for it. You offered it. I agreed to do what you asked me to do. You you asked me to, to uh, be on kick 100 hours a month. I agreed. I said, no problem. I'll do it. I'm down for that. We agreed. And then all of a sudden, the next thing I see her and, and see on the Internet is how you're disgusted with my, my history and that deal is done. So what about your history that disgusts him so bad? Because we all got a history. Nobody closet clean. I went to prison. I did jail time. But I had to tell you point blank God to my soul. I'm innocent of all the charges. I was charged with battery on a law enforcement officer. He said I punched him in the nose. Mm. I never even saw the cop. Mm -mm. He beat the hell out of him from behind. And then I went to prison for a year and a day on a battery on a Leo charge. And I never even saw him. But the thing is this, you were karma and God are real. Okay, so that... So this doesn't make any sense, right? He said, I went to jail for punching a cop. I was innocent, but I still went to jail. Hey, man, he might be innocent, but at the same time, bro, like, come on, bro. But I don't know. I don't think Aiden Ross ever took his deal away. I think he's believing all this internet stuff. People are trolling him. I thought this girl actually said, oh, you're getting your deal taken away. I apologize. But at the same time, it's still not a good thing to film him. To be honest, let's just let the man be, bro. Like, um, I feel like the guy... Lieutenant Dan or whatever, he just believes everything on the internet. He believes that he's taking all this stuff, but he has no facts. I don't think Aiden Ross came on stream to say that. But at the same time, we're going to see more in the video if he actually did. But in my opinion, I don't think he will. I think he will pledge his deal. I think he's going to get his kick deal. I think he's going to help this person. And I don't think Aiden Ross said any mountain said, hey, if, even if he has a criminal past, just promise what you promise. Be a man of your word and just do it, bro. You see what I'm saying? That's what you got to do. Hey, man, if he wants to dig himself, he gets arrested. That's not Aiden Ross's fault. That's everyone else's. I don't know. That is Lieutenant Dan's uh, response to the entire thing. Now, Aiden Ross actually came out with a response himself. He is very upset about people going after him, <laughs> and uh, rightfully so, because he apparently didn't actually say anything. So here's what he said. This is his second account, uh, this AR-15, the demon. This is Aiden Ross's second Twitter account. He said, bro, what did I do wrong? I also never said I was taking any deals away. Twitter yet again lied on my name. Mm. I only reacted to his past charges. I never said I wasn't going to not follow through. I'm in a weird position now. What are you guys' thoughts? So basically, Aiden Ross is in a position where he says that he did a live stream. He reacted to all the past criminal charges with this guy. And obviously, he didn't like it for obvious reasons. However, at the same time, he never said that he was going to completely take this guy's deal away. But I think that people kind of... Felt assumed. like he was yeah. because of the way that he reacted to the new allegations or whatever, the guy's criminal history. So I'm going to say this until Aiden Ross says, hey, I'm going to take the deal away until Aiden Ross says, hey, I do not like this person. I don't want to give him anything. I don't want to give anything that I promise. I'm taking it back. Do not speak for someone else. You see what I'm saying? That's why in all my videos, I say, hey, this is theorization. This is not a statement you see what i'm saying this is theorization everything i said it might not be true because i might be wrong about certain stuff because we're not always right about everything that's what i'm trying to say well, i hate when the internet does this why are you speaking on someone's name why are you telling people that he just said this he said that and it's not it just it just pisses me off it really does and i and i feel bad right because one, you make Lieutenant Dan hate Aiden Ross. You make the, the conversation that they're having to sign him, to give him all this stuff worse, right? And you make it harder for Lieutenant Dan to get his things because he thought the internet said this, the internet said that. Okay, he I, if I was Lieutenant Dan, hey, I might be mad that he was talking about my criminal past and all that. But at the same time, he was saying, hey, man, you should have looked me up before you offered me that. I, I completely agree. But at the same time, he never he never took anything away. So I don't think Lieutenant Dan should have acted 
completely in that way. So they're both they're both wrongs and rights. But I might be wrong. Um, in his uh, latest live stream or wherever he you know reacted to the whole thing, and now Aiden Ross is in a situation now where he has no idea what to do. He's even asking his own followers on Twitter like, "Hey, uh, what should I do? Uh, this guy has a criminal history." Here's the here's the main problem. The problem is. And this is the hard part about being a celebrity or a content creator or whatever. When it comes to the life of being a celebrity or a big politician or any sort of person of some sort of fame or notoriety, whatever, you're always in a situation where whatever decision you make, for the most part, you are damned if you do, you are damned if you don't. In this situation right here, no matter which option he chooses, he's going to piss off 50% of his audience. Mm. If he doesn't give the guy the money, 50% of his audience is going to be pissed and they're going to be like, oh, the charges weren't that serious. He already did his jail time. You're mm. punishing him again, blah, blah, blah. And if he does give him the money, well, then the other 50% of the audience is going to say you're a horrible person. He tried to burn a woman. He hit a police officer. You just did a live stream with Trump. I thought you support police officers. Like, Okay, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I agree with that, Coast. And we all got to realize, right? We all got to realize that people have like people can have malintentions, people have good intentions, but there will always be haters. Every decision that you make online, it doesn't doesn't matter what you do. There will always be trolls. There will always be people people that side against you. There's like there's nothing you can stop it. I think Anna should just be a man of his word and give it to him. I don't really care if the man has criminal charges or what. I said something. I'm gonna do it. You see what I'm saying? Like I know it's 100k. That's a lot of money. I, dude, I wish, dude, 100k to me. That's a lot. I, like I said, I just need to live in a small house and I'm cool. And you see what I'm saying? But at the same time, bro, like Aiden, just just give him the money, bro. Just allow him to live. And like all this will be over soon. Like we're, we're going to basically be talking about it and what's going to happen, guys. Like I said, what is going to happen? Nothing, bro. Because what you, when you give something to someone, they're not it's they're going to be negative or positive. It's just going to keep going on. People are going to forget about this in two weeks and... It's just going to move on. I don't know. Put it in the comment section if you guys disagree with anything that I say. Hey, man, be vocal. It really is a sad situation uh, with with this stuff because it's like, what what do you do? Like, seriously, what do you do? Because because honestly, I, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I couldn't even tell you what he should do, whether he should give the guy the money or not. But here's one thing I can tell you. This Lieutenant Dan guy has gone, like, overly viral. Like, I would be surprised if you watching this video have not heard of him by now. Mm. He's all over Twitter. He's all over TikTok. He's all over YouTube. Even the mainstream media is talking about this man. News Nation had, a, had him on their news channel to talk about the fact that he's just going to stay in his boat during a hurricane. So yep. even if he doesn't get the 100K and all the deals from Aiden Ross, I really think he'll be fine. He just needs like some young person to just come and show him, you know, get the guy a cell phone if he doesn't have one, show him how to use TikTok or YouTube or whatever. He'd be just fine. Start a Twitch or whatever. I will have to say, I don't know if he's going to be fine because internet fame is short fame. I think he needs to capitalize on all this. I think he needs to do more research. I think he needs to have people help him. And when he does have people help him, he can like basically capitalize on his fame but how long is it gonna last is it gonna last one week is it gonna last two weeks or is he not gonna be famous no more and we all have to realize right when it comes to all this stuff that like fame is short you see what i'm saying sometimes you have fame for a long time sometimes you're aiden ross or kai Sinet, and sometimes you are someone that no one remembers you see what i'm saying remember the guy he used to uh, he, he used to go like this Forgot the dancing kid with the, the backpack kid, the backpack kid. Remember him? Do we ever hear about him? Yeah, he still has fame, but like at the same time, it's not like he's not Aiden or Kai who can become be relevant in the news. He still goes on. You still see him there time to time, but you just need to like understand that some people are gifted things and some people are um basically they earn it. And I think this is a gifted moment. So if it's a gifted moment, capitalize, capitalize, capitalize. But we will see. I think Aiden's going to be a man of his word. I think he's going to do it, but I don't know. This guy, I think this guy is famous enough where he'll be okay. I think the only thing that probably would hurt him would be the, uh, you know, the criminal history. I think that would be the difference between him and Hawk Tua. I think the Hawk mm. Tua girl, you know, she's got like this big team behind her now. Uh, I don't know if he would get a huge team behind him now because of the, uh, the, the criminal history, but... I definitely think that he could still take advantage of this new fame that he's got.
I think the hot tour girl when she went famous, a marketing team or whatever, or someone like an agent came up to her, hey, we're gonna make you, we're gonna get you deals, we're gonna get you um famous appearances, we're gonna do that. They saw that she's young, white, very good looking, very good looking person, and they capitalized on it. And then they gave her her fame. They they over exaggerated how famous she was. Like she was famous for a couple of weeks, but like is her hot to a thing that famous where she's gonna be so famous? That where she has a podcast where she's like meeting all these people. I don't think it was, in my opinion. But she capitalized. Capitalization, capitalizing on what? Your fame, your short fame is a good thing. And the smart people, hey man, they last for a long time. But if you don't capitalize it, it's GG's. It is G. Geez, so I will tell you guys, I will tell you guys this. If you guys are doing internet or YouTube and you guys get that short fame, bro, do your research. God, and take advantage of that momentum and ride that for as long as he can. So, uh, yeah, it'll be very interesting to see what happens. But, yeah, I just want to update you guys on this interesting drama with Ada Ross and this Lieutenant Dan guy. And let this be a lesson. Stop being so quick and thirsty to offer people money and stuff. You know, that's that's what these streamers try to do now. I don't know if you guys noticed, but what these streamers will do now is whoever the next new viral person is or thing, they'll immediately flock to that and try to get them on stream. Mm. And once they do that, they'll immediately start, hey, I'll offer you this. I'll give you that. Like, they're, they're just trying to jump on the bandwagon. That's all they're doing. And in this case with Aiden Ross, it uh, backfired on him. And so I will say this. I do agree with Echoes. Um, but the thing is, they do that to stay relevant in the news. They do that to grow their brand. It is a good way to be relevant. That's just how people, that's how social media is. You need to stay relevant to keep making more money, to keep um, having a big uh, community because you don't want to fall off. Um, but I will say this, shout out to Echoes from above. If you guys have not liked, subscribe, turn on your notification. Yo, Echoes is amazing, bro. You guys go follow his content, go like his content, follow him before you follow me. That is my motto. You see what I'm saying? I always watch Echoes videos, man, because I know they, dude, he does, he gets straight to the point. He actually has good structure and he actually is a good YouTuber. And I I only, like you said, I only react to the goats. If you have a good, dude, it doesn't matter if you have 200 subs. It doesn't matter if you have oh, 3 million subs. I'll react to your content because I think you did a very, very good job. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much. And if you guys haven't liked, subscribe, turn on your notifications for me as well. Please do that. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. And shout out to Echoes from Above one more time. Peace, guys.